This video is an ode to Yucca by way of the Taino indigenous people. Come on, let's get started. Todo queda sabroso. Tainos are the historic indigenous people of the Caribbean, consisting of the Great Antilles, a group of islands located in the Caribbean Sea. These islands include Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, which is both Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. Ever since the Americas discovered Columbus, <clears throat> there's been this false narrative that the Taino people have been completely eradicated. But Tainos are alive and well, and the culture and food is still evident today. Today we're focusing on one ingredient that was a major staple in Taino culture, and that is yuca, also known as manioc or cassava. Today we're going to show you how to make arañitas de yuca, which are these yuca fritters. And then we're doing a classic dish called yuca con mojo. Now for the yuca with mojo, you can definitely use the fresh variety. Sometimes you can't find these locally. However, in most grocery stores in the freezer section, they do sell frozen yuca. Okay, so for the bowl yuca, I'm going to use the frozen variety. And all I'm going to do is salt a pot of water Then I'm just going to add my yuca pieces. Now some of them have the core removed, some of them don't, which these tend to have just a little bit of that core. You can remove that once it's finished cooking. And we're just going to boil this until it's nice and tender. Okay, the mojo is very simple. Mojo is a classic marinade or sauce, and it's used to marinate meat or as a sauce today. We're gonna to do this mojo in the mortar and pestle. We're gonna crush some garlic. I'm gonna use about six cloves. I'll just pound them just to remove that outer skin. I'm gonna add the garlic to the mortar and pestle. And I like to add a little bit of salt, acts as an abrasive. Okay, now I'm gonna add the juice of one orange. I have a sour orange here. You could use a regular orange, but sour orange is typical in making mojo. We're also gonna add the juice of two limes. Okay, to that I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of oregano, and I like mine with a little spice, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And we're simply going to mix everything together. I'm going to drizzle in some oil, about a quarter cup. And there we have our mojo, which is ready for that boil yuca. Okay, so here we have our boiled yuca. I just wanted to show you, this is how, if you have a little stem, that's how it's gonna look like. And now we're gonna take our garlic mojo, that citrus and garlic mojo. I added some chopped cilantro to it, and we're just going to drizzle that mojo all over the yuca. Just like that. Also going to garnish with some red onion. A little bit more of that mojo. Garnish with some fresh cilantro. And there you have yuca with mojo. Now let's make these yuca fritters called arañitas. Okay, so here we have the fresh yuca. The skin is very tough. But if you have a sharp peeler, you can remove it with ease. I love this peeler. I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase it. And then we're just going to remove that skin. Okay, now we're going to grate it. If we were Doing arepitas, you would use the small grate holes, but we're doing arañitas, so we're using the larger grate holes. And all we're going to do is we're going to grate that yuca. Okay, I don't know if you see, 
Now we have gotten to the fibrous core. So now I wanna cut this in half and then remove that core. Now I can shred the rest of that yucca. And so here I have my grated yucca. To that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of cotija cheese. This is optional, but I like the inclusion of cheese. When I add half a teaspoon of salt, you could do a quarter teaspoon, depending on the saltiness of the cheese. We're adding a teaspoon of white sugar, granulated. We're also adding a teaspoon of anise seed. This has that licorice type smell and taste. One teaspoon. And then one egg. Then we're going to mix it around. This is how it should look like. And now we're going to fry. Okay, now that my oil is hot, I want to take spoonfuls of that yuca mixture, the arañitas. Okay, so I'm also going to be making a avocado dipping sauce. So I wanted to take one Haas avocado. To that, we're gonna add a bunch of cilantro, one garlic clove, juice of a lime, some mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, and a pinch of pepper. I'm gonna blend this until it's nice and smooth. Here you have the arañitas, nice and crispy. Look at that. Whoa, dip it into that avocado sauce. Ooh, take a bite. Mm -hmm. Super crispy, that anise flavor comes through just a hint so that you know it's there. Arañitas de yuca, sabroso.